Hello, once again, this is VG Player, back with playing Diablo 2. We are gonna go do the Blood Raven quest, as I said last time, it's right there. And of course, there are two ways to get back to the graveyard, whether you've gone there or not. We're going to take the easiest route here. And of course, I forgot one small little detail. Here's there. The code of fortune does not affect the characters in your immediate vicinity. It only affects the monsters. So, these monsters are very cheap and low. Just a one shot of things. Unfortunately, I first recorded this. This is actually the second attempt at this. I ended up screwing it up. I didn't realize that Fraps not only records what is being displayed on the screen, but also records any audio coming out of the speakers. So I ended up recording some things that I was watching in the background, which ruined the video. So thanks to a hero editor, which I am not using to hack any of the items in the game of this particular character, but thanks to the hero editor that I have, I was able to reset him back to what he was in the last video. He had actually gained four levels during that duration. It was quite fun, but it was sad that I had to crash that picture second. Yeah. Alright, you bastard. I don't like your stinking arm. But yeah, that's why I got different weapons than when I quit last time, because I had already sold those. I had picked up a Axe of Frost, which I actually bought, and I had picked that up as well, which I also bought. So, yeah. Other than that, pretty much everything else is stuff that I had before. Hard leather armor. That I actually got from the boss herself, Blood Raid. That's one of the things that I just dropped. But, yeah. Just like any boss, she tends to drop more loot when you have it on hard modes, unfortunately. There are mods out there that will actually give you all the loot, which I actually tried to looking for one time so I could mess around with it, but I couldn't find it. And I'm not going to ask anybody to freaking tell me where it is, so I'll just be playing it. And I'm not interested. What I really want to do is when I played this a long time on my old computer, I had a paladin with an axe with four different spells on it. It was like, what was it? Spell, two, uh, two sorcerer spells and a necromancer spell or something like that. I don't the name of the axe. There's unique axe. I got it in regular mode as a freaking drop. And yeah, my paladin is using that all through it. I'm gonna pick that up. Not that anything I say is important, but I do try to be amusing in the process here. Let's see. What to pick up? What to pick up? Double swing. I picked that up last time. Yeah, double swing. It's almost like a common zeal to a certain extent. It allows you to hit multiple multiple times. If you're using a two-hander, it's a double swing with the same one as one. But if you're using two one-handers or two two-handers, it strikes one with each weapon. So you can to the both. Although I can't remember if it... Yeah, it actually increases your damage. Yay, for an expansion. Uh, I'll have character level up a million times. Nice. 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 
Random singing for no reason. I found a key. I wonder where the key goes to. The key goes to a box. The box has tons of locks. And what's in the box? It's full of ugly socks. Something like that. Would have been funny if there were actual boots in there. That's about as best as socks you can get in there. <laughs> Crude stuff. That's both rude and crude. A loose rock. Did someone please tell me if they're getting sick and tired of seeing these things? I sure can. The other one, I don't, I can't remember the name of the one I was just singing, but the other one I got, stuck in my head, is called, um, Sunday Close by Dolly. It's a good song. Can you Wally having classic music in it? I make the same mistake like every other time I play this. I end up going to Stony Field, which we do not want to go to. Actually, we don't want to go there, just not right now. Run away, because I'm sick and tired of seeing this. You make me nerd rage. Nerd rage, nerd rage. Don't piss off the nerds, they bring attack. And they come in multiple colors, so you'll never know which one to attack next. Damaged eagle orbs. That's the first sorceress item that we've seen so far, I think. I can't remember my last video, it's been a while. Let's see. But, yeah, the orbs are the sorceress weapons. Only sorcerers can... Yeah, sorcerers. Sorceresses. Sorcerer eye. So, anyways. Only the sorceress class can equip those. And basically, the way it worked is in the expansion for this one, I actually this one, it's just being redone. They made it so that the male characters, which would be the druid, the necromancer, the barbarian, and the paladin, got defensive equipment. The barbarians and the druids get helms, necromancer, and the um, paladin get shields. So the necromancers actually get um, shrunken heads, which are probably what's going to be the offhand for the um, mystics or the shaman or whatever the heck it is for Diablo 3. And the paladins obviously can't use shrunken heads because that would deviate from what a paladin is. They got, of all things, more shields. So they actually got really, really decent shields. A lot of them are wholly related. They usually have crosses on them and religious type memorabilia. So yeah, the barbarians get almost like Viking looking helmets. Some of them anyways. The druids got animal based helmets. Look like bears, look like wolves, stuff like that. The female characters on the other hand got a whole bunch of weapons. The sorcerer sorceresses, sorcerer, whatever. 
got as you saw the eagle orbs. Actually, let me go pick that up real quick. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! And I'll show you what that is. It's a very fun idea. I'm keeping it. It's not really selling it because it's a very fun Which is the exact opposite of what we're going to do. I don't know if you're going to sell. If you get some money in this game, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. Out there. Down in Yonker City. Where the lights glisten. Glisten. I got to be a song on. Okay, let's toss that. Notice how this item's in red is because the sorcerer's only. This particular one actually has plus two to life, which is unusual. But a lot of them have plus skills on there. Usually like one or two. Nothing too fancy there. But yeah, the Amazons get bows. They also get spears. Well, spears and lances. They're actually lucky. They get two weapons. The, um, Assassin gets Katars. And they get Katars not because they are female, but because their class was, was added in the game as a female. So, like an expansion. so they were given a special weapon just like the Dresden Unique Helms and stuff like that. Such and such and so on and so forth. Katars actually work a lot building, except that Katars have a faster attack speed. So yeah, if you want to tear her shit up, you would definitely want to put two Katars on her. Or Katars. Katars. Probably Katars. Trying to play Diablo. Also, in this segment, because I'm magic and I can make really elongated segments if I feel like it, I am going to probably do what I did last time in that scrap segment. I'm probably going to end up doing the. Um, how is it? The mausoleum was one of them in the crypts, I think. I shall meet death head on. Well, last time I did something stupid and I decided to literally meet death head on and not bother clearing. And ended up getting myself in the spot. Did manage to do it. But as you can tell, being a graveyard, it has the stereotypical, holy crap, there's undead here. Who would have thunk? Now, these are the things that I'm going to start seeing more frequently as I start attacking Blood Raider. She actually summons those. And she can summon them quite quickly. Try saying that ten times fast. Quite quickly. My axe is made for chopping. That is what'll do. My axe is made for chopping, and it's gonna chop up you. Blood Raven counts as a demon, so any that you have at this point that does plus damage to undead and still <laughs> instead will not do any damage to her. Join my us. Yes. She also regens health. She's got blood Actually, see her regain health right there. See so that spell that pops up? That is her regaining health. And that is exceptionally annoying. She can be poisoned, obviously. She can be frozen. She cannot be shattered. So you can't increase her. It will not work. 
Sorceress has a field day here if she has Frozen Orb, but she will get that touch later. Unless you do some really, really strange thing. Willing to grind then you have no life. Because we're talking about like level 4, so she gets that. If you talent her into Frost. Now that she's dead, she's gonna take out all these things with her. Unfortunately, she does not gain XP for those kills. Let's find out what she's doing. I can't remember if I talked about jewels in the last segment or if it was in the scraps. But I will bring it up now since I just picked one up. Jewels Good are basically riddance, just regular uh, gems Raven. that can be socketed into armor and stuff. And just as you see here, it's Jewel of Spirit and it has plus three life on it. Basically anything you put that in will automatically get that as a bonus. But that's all they do. They don't get ahead they don't get any stronger. What you see is what you get. It's basically a blue gem as opposed to a regular gem. Oh what do you know? Pretty much the exact same armor except this one has plus six cold resist. Well, smack me upside the head and call me Sally, then. I do not like ethereal items. And that's a factual statement right there. I do not care for ethereal items. I always sell them, and they always sell worth crap. The with ethereal items is, as I said before, is... Basically, I can hardly believe that you've defeated died. Blood Raven. Yeah, I defeated. Though Blood she Raven. was once my closest friend. Closest friend. I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. It's not. It'll be in the you third game. Ha ha ha! That's stranger. a lie. And the allegiance of the rogue. Shut up. This little person that popped up is. Good evening. What's up? What the hell? No greeting. Shut up. The sisterhood welcomes you. I'm gonna switch her out only because I hate her. Name. I'll get I'll get Paige instead. Doesn't really matter. Now, I was gonna sell that, but that since I got her, I can take advantage. Of it. They can wear use. pretty much the same thing you can for as long as they have the correct stats for it. You cannot equip them with shields. I can't use that. If they can't use shields, anyways. The sorcerers that you get later on, which are basically like the sorcerers from the first game. They can actually equip the shield. They can also what equip swords. They cannot equip other one-handed weapons, though. They can only equip swords and shields and stuff like that. But they can equip, like, higher level armor. Like, they can equip plate and stuff. I am going to sell that gem. Why? Because I feel like it. Also, you'll notice in your new allies little area of the world that they can't equip the same number of items you can you can equip gloves and belts and boots and stuff they can only equip a main hand off hand, chest armor and helmet anything you equip that has durability that you equip on your hireling does not take durability damage so you can basically equip anything on there, which is why I gave her the ethereal item. And yeah. I'll put that to good that use. To her. And equipping weapons just like with equipping your own character weapons increases their damage output. So it's highly recommended that you update your highlight. Unfortunately, if you're just playing regular Diablo 2, you're probably going to end up encountering a situation of like, dude, why can't I equip my hireling with anything? It's because this was added in the expansion, like I probably said earlier. It is clear. Where the hireling gains the ability not only to go with you, but to also be equipped with stuff. So let's go into the burial grounds. I did the top one first. We're going to do this one this time. As you can see, I've already been in here. But that's from the previous run. My function could not edit the map. 
make it so make it so that I have no idea. So aside from that, I'll actually make it faster because I know where the chest is now. Oh, I should mention these guys, the ghostly monsters, they have the ability to freeze you. They also get a lot more damage than their non-ghostly cousins. They also have a higher armor than their cousins. I've also probably mentioned this before, but if you do decide to buy this game, if you've never played it, I highly recommend it. But get the uh, battle chest. Don't just buy it outright, because the battle chest comes with a player's guide for you. Which you can read. It's a little outdated, but it still applies to this game in bulk. So. But you'll get the original Diablo, you'll get Diablo 2, plus the expansion. Like I said before, if you want the Diablo expansion, you're basically up the creek without a paddle. You can have it on Amazon or eBay or have a friend find a way to buy you or buy you there or something. Both games are outdated, but this game's a lot more fun than you'd think. Quilted armor. That's gonna be good. Look at all the stuff that pops out. Okay. Short staff. Amulet. Cap. Cap. I Not can't carry anymore. Space, of course. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. How did I know it? Because I know this game way too well. Whoops. Picked up something I should. There's an item for a. Right there. A Katar. That's for the assassin. What would you do if I sang for you? What would you do if you ran away? What would you do if I chased you with a monkey? What would you say? Random silliness is insane. Captain Rearrange oh, do, 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 do. I can rearrange anything and make it look feasible. This one. Plus two strength. You know, this is actually uh, a good one. Where it's one Frost Nova to a Sorceress. Any abilities that are class specific that aren't charges will automatically teach that character that spell as long as they have the item equipped. So, like a Necromancer starts out with a wand with plus one skeleton or summon skeleton or whatever the spell is called. So, you can actually summon a skeletal minion without ever having a talent point in it. And that's to make leveling easier. If you try doing it, like, say, you change it out for a dagger, you're going to have a hard time actually leveling them up for a little bit. Yay, self-repair. Useless. Sturdy cap. Useless. Poison resist. Useless. Attack rating. Useless. Dagger. Just in general, useless. Don't, never use daggers on a barbarian. Unless you want to embarrass yourself. Barbarians are about using friggin' massive weapons. Greetings. Uh, smash, bash, and crush things. Don't embarrass yourself by using a little wussy weapon like a dagger. You're not a spellcaster. It's supposed to be blazing a trail, not picking up the pieces. No offense to any people that play spellcasters in any games, it just isn't the way the barbarians play. The barbarian would be the equivalent of the warrior from the previous game, and probably the equivalent to a warrior in World of Warcraft, actually. If you want to compare Blizzard games, because that's what we do, right? Compare Blizzard games. Now, there's a guy that we haven't met yet. Only because I hate the guy because he's a jerk. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Leap. Because everybody likes sleeping. It's Warif. 
Good day to you, partner. I'm Gee, and I can already tell that I'll this be. This guy Hello. rips you off a lot. But he usually has good shit. Like, for example, that. Better than that. Even though it gives me the same amount of energy. That's higher defense. If it wasn't for the fact that this has no abilities, I would take that. But this. Even though it's poison length duration reduced. So that. Hey, for Bolt of Life. Get lucky in the game of life. And if you really want to see why I think he's a jerk, it's because of this. You can gamble for stuff. You that fell shown. the bat. No. Then we can always go plink. Every single time you close the window, it typically resets the items that they have. Ooh! Nice purchase! Nice, 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 nice. I was not expecting to get that lucky. Let's see. Try... Give her this one. Put that to good use. Keep this one because that one doesn't have the poison resist on. Gamble. Close. Yeah, this is the only problem with doing this is you have to keep popping in and out and see if there's anything you like. Notice that I will never put a shield on my barbarian for the same reason I will never put a dagger on my barbarian. It's just not the way of our variants played. How did that work? Oh well. Okay, so let's pull up my character sheet. Oops, I'm just not having a good day. Yeah, the axe definitely can go. I'm sorry, Mr. Axe, but you must go. Also, by the way, since uh, since we were talking about that jewel, if you do sell something and you decide that you actually want it back, as long as you don't go back out into the wilderness, you can buy it back from the same vendor you sold it to. And online, when someone vendors something, someone else that's speaking with that same vendor can actually buy it off that vendor. The only problem is, when you buy something off a vendor, even if you had just sold it, the price goes up on it. And I think it's either... 25%... That you sell it at, or... 50%. I believe it's 25. So you're actually only getting one fourth of the actual value of the item. So an item worth 100 from the vendor would actually only sell for 25 when you sell it back. Yep, yeah, I've been to the mausoleum as well. Like I said, this is the second attempt at this. Last time I was singing songs here. Either. Devil Ash. See, we're gonna do this. I hate lightning and shooting monsters. You can't just spam your attack. For that, then you're just asking for yourself to kill. Yes, they come with charging. That can kill you very quickly. There is a default boss character called Rakanishu, which actually has charged bolt. And each time you hit him, you're basically damaging yourself. 
So you want to try to avoid <laughs> spamming the attack. You're gonna need to use either range attacks or move. Heal everything off the board. Yay, more bolts. Yay, for defiling the casket of some dead person. Do not do that in real life. It's very, very rude. That, and I think it's actually illegal to defile someone's grave like that. At least without permission, anyway. Nothing makes sense anymore. Let's see. Yay, Double Thor receives bonuses from, uh, yeah. I always found that kind of cool, is abilities receive bonuses and shit. <laughs> when do I get the next one? Level 12, what level am I? Level 9, which is exactly the same level that I stopped last time at. Amazing. Uh, what I'm gonna do is because I ha I want to do a segment a day and upload them at the same rate. Unfortunately, I got sidetracked by a new game that came out, and I'll do some free advertising. I s started doing videos for this on basically whatever date the first one was uploaded. I've done that because I was bored one day. And what I was try trying to do is just keep my mind occupied and off of the new game that's coming out in a Monster Hunter Try. Now, anybody who hasn't actually played that game, it's definitely one of the best games that you can buy for Wii. It takes some getting used to, unfortunately, but if you put in enough effort and have the patience for it, the game can be very rewarding. And I'm not going to go into details about how it's rewarding. I'll just say that after you get past the tutorial, that's when the fun really starts. And the tutorial is actually done in segments. And you'll see what I mean when you actually play it. But I can't do playthroughs of games that are on a console, unfortunately. And I'm not about to find a way to try to connect my Wii to the computer so that I can do that. You can find videos of people playing through it all over the place at this point because the game has been out for a week. So, yeah. The game is definitely worth the time and effort put into it. The online, although I've pretty much had really bad experiences with the online, varying from people telling me that I'm a noob, which everybody's a noob playing Monster Hunter Try anyways, to just people not being interested in helping anybody but themselves. I just got a rare Cool. Well, other than that, the online works really well. The one downside is for the people that have We Speak, apparently it doesn't work that well at this moment. The servers are owned by Capcom, so they may be able to fix that problem, or it may be something with in the hardware itself. I do not want people starting post posts on these videos saying, well, the Wii sucks since you mentioned Try and blah, blah, blah. It's like, the game should have been ported to insert console here. Those will be deleted or marked as spam or Because I am not going to go into it. I will not refuse to. I am not complaining about that. It bugs the hell out of me when people say, well, the Wii sucks because of this, that, and the other thing. Like, the Wii is perfectly fine. Nintendo's been around longer than PlayStation. Nintendo knows what they're doing. They've been out there long enough. Then again, Sega had been out for quite a while, and they got screwed. But that's because they messed up on two systems. But yeah. I but we're not going to get into that either. Because it's not console wars. Dun, 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 Anyways. Find out where we're at. Some javelins. Bronze javelins of worth. 
I could never figure out how you're supposed to replenish the quantity on that. Are you supposed to repair them? Are you supposed to find more and stack them? How? It kind of seems wasteful, really. Yay! Poison damage. That's always fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this segment as soon as I sell those items and place the gems in the box. The next segment is going to start with me basically staring at this stupid thing. Because what I'm going to do is going to stop. going to probably make that segment and have that video start getting published before I start doing the next segment. Because I want to try to knock out some segments because I'm a little bit behind schedule because I haven't thought about doing this. Which is my fault. Alright. A for obsessive compulsive organization. Way down in Yonkers, Barnaby. Anyways, with that musical number out of the way, and the organization of my lovely little box here, I am going to cut the video here, and in the next one, I will start basically from here, and we'll continue from here doing the next quest, which is called The Search for Cain, which brings us to the guy with the infamous words, Stay a while and listen! So, see you then.